similar behavior and taste. Likewise, light comes from a family of rays called the electromagnetic spectrum. You get kilometer-long radio waves at one end of the scale and tiny gamma rays at the other. All built on the same model, with similar behavior, traveling at the same speed. A lobster is basically a stretched out shrimp. A radio wave is basically stretched out light. As the universe expanded, that primordial light from the Big Bang was stretched out into radio waves. So if you're looking for those primordial echoes from the Big Bang, you should not be looking for visible light at all. You should be looking for radio waves. Of course, we can't see radio waves. Our eyes can only sense a tiny portion of the electromagnetic spectrum, visible light. But there is a machine that allows us to see these signals from the Big Bang. This machine is not a high-powered supercomputer or an enormous telescope on a remote mountaintop. It's something much more straightforward. Television. Television allows us to hear and see this stretched out light, the cosmic microwave background. I know it sounds crazy, but the Big Bang is on another channel right now. Switch your TV set over to an untuned channel. Not right now, you're listening to me. But when you do, you will see a lot of static. About 1% of this static is the cosmic microwave background, or CMB as we call it. This is stretched out light directly from the beginning of the universe. You are now seeing echoes from the Big Bang, the most important event that ever happened. Not in a government lab or a particle accelerator, but in the comfort of your own home. The Big Bang and its echoes are part of everyday life. Of course, static has been around since TV was invented. We just did not understand what we were seeing. Now we see it for what it really is. Signals whizzing around from the beginning of the universe, proving that the Big Bang did take place. The discovery of the cosmic microwave background was central to the Big Bang Theory's acceptance as the best model for the origin and evolution of the universe. But these radio waves, the CMB, turned out to have even more significant implications. If we examine the CMB closely, we find that it has minute variations in its temperature. And if we make a map with these variations, we get this. It's a snapshot of the baby universe shortly after it left maternity, the Big Bang. But for cosmologists, this abstract painting is the most significant discovery of all times. It's called the W map picture after the Wilkinson Microwave and Isotropy Probe, and it got us very, very excited. If these pictures had turned out to be just one color, then we would not be here. The universe would be a mush, a completely uniform soup without any variations. On the contrary, we find these tiny fluctuations, these tiny lumps. They really are the blueprints for the structures that emerge later in the universe. Galaxies, stars, and us. Like every other cosmologist, I've spent hours and hours scrutinizing this blueprint for the universe. According to the Big Bang Theory, there should be no pattern to the distribution of different temperatures across the sky. But I found that there did seem to be some order to the arrangement of these fluctuations. 
The pattern is so subtle, it only emerges when the complicated WMAP picture is broken down into a series of more simple temperature maps. The Big Bang theory predicts that the universe is the same everywhere, and the arrangement of the different components should be completely random. But it isn't. Some of the temperature maps turn out to have features in common. They align along one special direction, which I dubbed the axis of evil. I called it the axis of evil because it implies there is a flaw in the Big Bang Theory. Some people thought I was seeing things that weren't there. But complex statistical analysis proves that these alignments aren't just due to chance. The axis of evil really is present in the data. No one really knows what this means. The significance of the axis of evil is still a mystery. Perhaps it's merely a mistake in our instruments, or it could be a real feature which the Big Bang Theory cannot account for. As demonstrated by the Humble Shrimp, the CMB started life as the first light in the universe and was gradually stretched out into radio waves as the universe grew older. The process behind this stretching provides further support for the Big Bang Theory. The stretching of the primordial light into radio waves occurs because the universe is expanding. This expansion is a phenomenon that seems to be taken for granted, and that's just not good enough. How do we actually know that the universe is expanding? The first blinding burst of light produced by the Big Bang still echoes through the cosmos, 13 and a half billion years later. Not as light rays, but as radio waves known as the CMB. The only explanation for the stretching of this light into radio waves is that space is expanding. How do we know this is going on? The answer comes from our recent observations of galaxies. Every direction in the sky is full of galaxies and every single galaxy is moving away from us. Is then the whole universe trying to avoid us? Are we the center of this big cosmic explosion? Mankind has always had the hope that everything revolves around us. But it only takes my grandmother's cosmic knitting to disprove this fact. Every year, my grandmother knits me a jumper for Christmas. She does it for all of her grandchildren, all 25 of us. Each jumper has a pattern to suit the wearer. My sister is a farmer, so she gets a horse. My cousin George used to collect golf balls. Christina has a pollen allergy. Renata once dated a clown. Carla loves military hardware. This is Sergio. He once broke his ankle skiing. And my cousin Lucia keeps chickens. Each year brings another astonishing collection. Because I'm a cosmologist, I always get jumpers with complicated patterns representing what she thinks is the universe. Here's the latest offering. Apparently, each of these buttons represents a galaxy, and the knitting in between them represents the fabric of space. If I stretch out the jumper by putting it on, space expands, carrying the galaxies with it. <laughs> 